heeding the people's demand for change. The words of Lebanon's Prime Minister Hassan Diab as he announced his government's resignation amid mounting anger over the Beirut port explosion. In an address on national television on Monday evening, the 61-year-old said the disaster was the result of endemic corruption. Dieb has been in office for just nine months. He was appointed after Saad Hariri stepped down in response to mass demonstrations. Public anger also led to Dieb's downfall. Protesters have taken to the streets for the third day in a row in the capital, which has suffered widespread damage. For many, the deadly blast was the last straw, after decades of corruption and government negligence that have led to economic collapse. But the government's resignation does not mean an end to people's anger. Those on the streets of Beirut have vowed to continue protesting. There are too many changes that need to happen for us to be satisfied. We're trying to clean up the dirty work that's been happening for the past 30, 40 years. For us, it's not a victory because the resignation of the government is not sufficient. We want to change the deputies, but before we change the deputies, we want a government independent. France has called for a swift formation of a new government that can live up to the expectations of the people. For now, the outgoing government will stay on in a caretaker role. While much of the ruling oligarchy representing Lebanon's different religions are keeping their seat in parliament, those very MPs will decide on a new prime minister, a process involving the same sectarian politics at the root of demonstrators' discontent.